Hi, and welcome to episode number 629 with whatsforchild.com. And today it is the second episode of our Still Spirits Air Still training series. We're going to make a batch of sugar wash using the Turbo Pure Yeast provided in the kit. And before we can do that, we need to assemble the fermenting container. There is a tap that comes in the kit and obviously the fermenting vessel. Undo the nut, making sure to take the washer with it. Insert the tap into the hole and fasten it securely. In the lid of the fermenting vessel, there is a carbon filter which stops nasty odors from exiting the vessel. There's the carbon filter. There's a small little washer inside there, foam washer. You pop that in there, followed by another washer. Then this unit with the flat side facing the lid. Put the bolt back in and secure that. It is suggested that you only use these carbon filters once and it does come, the kit comes with a box of 10 filters. The filters are used in the lid and in the filtering system for filtering the spirits. When you use them in the lid you do not need to rinse them or wet them. They can be used as is, and as I said, only for one fermentation. What I do though is I use the same filter in my second fermentation, and if I find that there is an odor coming from the fermentation, then I'll take the lid off and swap out the filter. First in line is 2.4 kilograms of sugar, or 2.6 kilograms of turbo sugar. In this video, I am just using 2.4 kilograms of regular kitchen sugar. Um, the only benefit with the turbo sugar is that your fermentation may be slightly quicker and slightly cleaner. Add water to the fermentation vessel. 10 liters. You may have to top this up slightly once the sugar is dissolved. We're going to use the stirring spoon that's supplied in the kit to give this a good agitation and dissolve all of the sugar. Once the sugar is dissolved, add your yeast. Followed by the yeast nutrients. The yeast nutrient, as we mentioned in the previous episode, provides all the necessary nutrition for the yeast. The yeast needs to break down the sugar into alcohol, but it also needs nutrition. And without the yeast nutrient, you will probably end up with a stalled fermentation. Give that a good stir. At this stage, we do actually want to introduce oxygen to the mix. This does help the fermentation begin. So, a good stir is in order. Then we want to add the carbon. The, what the carbon does is absorb any off smells and flavors that are produced by the fermentation process which when making sugar wash can be quite vile and this will bring that to an absolute minimum along with the filter in the lid of the filtration of the fermentation vessel you should have a nice clean fermentation with no off tastes no off smells 
And once again, we want to give that a good stir to get that all distributed. At the moment, it just looks like a black mess with some fluff floating on top. But this will turn into something absolutely beautiful. All that needs to be done is to pop the lid on and wait for seven days. On the fifth day, we will do a hydrometer reading, which will appear in the next video, um, which will tell us how close we are or whether we are complete, in fact. Um, but normally it takes five to seven days. This needs to be stored while it's fermenting at between 18 and 24 degrees Celsius. If you go below 18, the fermentation will slow dramatically or may, may even stall. If you go above 24, then the turbo pure yeast will go rampant and you will pick up off flavors and off smells. So it is important to try to keep it within this temperature range of 18 to 24. If you live in a geographical area where the temperature variances are high, in other words hot during the day and cold at night, or even differences between large differences between winter and summer, then in cold times you may need to use a heat band or a heat pad to keep this within its temperature range, and in hot times you may need to put this into an area that is cooled i.e. a wine fridge or into an air-conditioned room. Okay, as promised in the previous episode, we are going to show you now how to get started really, really quickly um, while our batch of sugar wash ferments. That's going to take seven days, but I know you're itching to go, so we're going to show you a real quick trick to make a super quick vodka. What you need to do is pop down to your local liquor store or your local winery and buy a bottle, a five litre bottle of really, really cheap wine. Or you can get four bottles of four one litre bottles of really cheap vodka and redistill it. So here we go. The nice thing about wine is that it contains a very, very insignificant amount of methanol which means that you don't need to take out any four shots or tails. You simply run it through the distiller and you'll end up with a reasonably good product. Even though this wine is considered really, really bad. So what we're going to do is pour this into the distiller. We're only going to use four liters. We're going to pour it in to the full mark. Now a very important point to remember is before you start distilling you need to add the distilling con conditioner which will stop any foaming. This is very important especially when you're using wine as the wine has a sugar content and can cause foaming. Stir that in and then the second important part is to drop in your boil enhancers which will stop any rapid boiling while the product distills. Pop the lid on, plug the lid into the base and then plug the machine power into the socket. You'll immediately hear the fan start and within an hour or so dripping will come from the spout and that will be your distillate. And here we are back after an hour or so and the still is dripping liquor into the catch basket. This distilling will continue for just over an hour to get a thousand mils or a litre and then we can switch the still off. Very important to remember not to remove the lid of the distiller before 20 minutes of resting time to allow the inside contents to cool.
Okay, the total time now has been about 3 hours and 10 minutes and we're approaching a thousand mils or one litre and I'm going to disconnect the distiller. At this stage I'm going to allow it to cool down and finish dripping. We're just going to do a quick alcohol level test. So we're going to scoop some of that out and pour it into a tall measuring flask. The air still kit does not come with the alcohol meters. However, you can buy these separately from Brewcraft. And there we go. Just a touch under 40% ABV. And that's close enough. Some of the flavor and aroma has passed through with the alcohol. And as a result, this tastes very similar, or it has a slightly sweetish taste, with the smell of apple. It is very pleasant to taste. But um, if you're looking for vodka, vodka should be flavorless, which means that we are going to pass this through the charcoal filter first before consuming. To pass it through the filter, we need to pour the distillate into this top unit, which sits over the secondary catch jug. Now the top unit has the charcoal filter comes with one pre-installed and then a box of 10 spares. Each one of these can distill one can um, filter one liter of distillate. But now this needs to be rinsed before it's used so I'm going to undo this. Now you need to hang on to these foam washers, one on either side of the filter and I'm going to rinse that quickly. Okay, we've rinsed that, we're going to replace the washer, pop that back, put the second foam washer in, and then the flat side of this fastens against the filter, and we need to make that firmly closed, and then pop that on top of the catch jug. What we're going to do now is just pour carefully the alcohol into the top receptacle. And then play the waiting game. This will drip through over a period of hours to the bottom receptacle and the charcoal filter will clean out any off flavors and aromas. Stay tuned for our next episode where we'll be clearing the sugar wash that we set up today. The wash will then be distilled to produce an excellent quality vodka. Thanks for joining us. Please like, subscribe and share and we'll see you all again next week.